arc minute and dwell time. The beam width and arc seconds. Okay, well, uh, hello, Edward. Uh, thank you for your question. Um, so I think you're, you, what you asked about is how long we point the telescope at a given target when we're doing a, uh, a SETI experiment. Oh, well, so I think, so the, the question asked about, about dwell time, uh, and that just means the amount of time that we spend looking at a, at a, given, at a given point. Uh, so dwell time or integration time is, is the same thing. So it, we're, during that, that dwell time or that integration time, we're adding up the energy that's following, falling on the telescope. We're adding up the signal so that we can see something weaker and weaker. And the answer to that is that it depends very much on the specific experiment that, that we're talking about. So with SETI at home, we observe in a mode called, um, called commensal observation. And that means that we just listen in on what the, the telescope is doing, regardless of who's using the telescope. So if somebody's using the telescope to stare for a really long time at just one particular spot in the sky, then our SETI experiment will stare at that one particular spot in the sky for, for a long period of time. If someone's doing a, a search for, for new objects or they're scanning a particular field, then again, we'll, we'll piggyback on those observations and, and so we'll have the same integration time as the, as the primary observer. When we, when we use a telescope when we're actually in control of it, uh, so we do that frequently with, uh, with the Green Bank Telescope and with the low far low frequency telescope in Europe, then we're allowed to choose uh, our, our integration times or our dwell times. And a typical integration time for a radio SETI experiment is usually about five to 10 minutes. And the, the determining factor um, for, for that is, is really um, the, the typical number of targets that we might observe in a campaign is usually about between 10 and 100, and we're usually awarded something like 10 to 24 hours of time. So we just sort of divide that time up equally amongst all the targets that we want to observe, and that leaves us with about five to 10 minute integration times. Um, as far as how much uh, sky the telescope sees, um, that depends on the wavelength that we're observing at and the size of the telescope uh, that, we're, that we're using. So the larger the telescope and the shorter the wavelength, the smaller the patch of sky that we see with the telescope. So with the Arecibo telescope at 1.4 gigahertz, which is where the SETI at Home project operates, we see about three arc minutes uh, of the sky uh, with, a, with, a given, with a given pointing. Um, but we actually have a, a receiver on that telescope that can see seven different three arc minute patches of the sky. It's a multi-beam receiver. Uh, with the Green Bank Telescope, that's uh, 100 meters in size. Uh, and so the, the patch of sky that we see at that same frequency is three times larger. So the field of view of the Green Bank Telescope at, at 1.4 gigahertz is about 10 arc minutes.